What is up folks, welcome back to another video and I hope you guys are ready for some hunting content. I know this channel is a fishing channel, I understand that. We're always gonna do fishing on this channel but hunting has just become a part of my life. Especially since we bought this new million dollar property across the street that you guys will remember was mainly a deer property when I bought it. Throughout this video we're going to catalog the entire process from planting the food plots to getting the hunting stands ready, to doing some sits, seeing some deer, and then eventually pulling the trigger a couple times in this video, and then being successful at some point. Neighbor Daryl's gonna be in this video a lot. Andrew's gonna be in this video. There's going to be deer shot in this video, so if that's not your thing, you might wanna tune out. There's also going to be a catch clean cook towards the end. We're going to make some awesome food out of this deer. We're gonna process it, we're gonna do everything. So hopefully you guys are pumped. I was pumped to make this video. We were all pumped to be a part of it, and this is just the beginning. So if you're digging this hunting content, make sure you're smashing that thumbs up button. Make sure you're subscribing to the channel if you're new. Like I said, hunting, fishing, survival, camping, that's all the stuff we're gonna do on this channel. But right now, it's hunting season, you know? So we're gonna do a little bit of that. Sit back, relax, buckle your seatbelts. It's a longer video. That's because there's a lot that goes into deer hunting that I'm just kind of learning but people like Neighbor Daryl are so nice to show me. So let's start with a little food plot management with our good friend, Neighbor Daryl. Maybe he can learn us something today. This area right here, you guys might remember, this is like the very back end of the dove field right here. This is a little area that we got tilled up so we can plant an actual food plot yeah. right there. Is it deer tracks right here? Yeah. Wow. Probably a good place to put a food plot then. For those that don't know, Daryl, how would you describe a food plot? It's like a buffet salad bar for deer. They don't have a choice between ranch or Thousand Island dressing. Right. But they got everything else. This, this ain't a California buffet. This is, this is Alabama buffet. This is a Southern buffet. Baby. Yeah. We got, we got to come up with a name for, for this area. This, yes, you, we, we do. We've had a food plot here before, And this right? be the first first one you get the name. I know, yeah. Property. You know what? We can, <laughs> maybe we get some help from the people at home. We got to name yeah. this one. Every single hunting area on this property had a name from the previous owner. Man! Dang. <laughs> What's going on over here? Lucy, Maga, what is your problem, man? What are you doing? What is your beef, Maga? Come on, man, you're getting plenty of screen time. Don't worry, Lucy. He's got that little dog complex. Yeah, he does. Okay. I shot two bucks here, last year. I'm about to say you've had some experience hunting here. Yeah, and that hog. That's yeah. right. The hog was killed literally like right there. I mean, And we're gonna use this mixture. And then the fertilizer. Fertilizer, this, okay. That goes on last? That goes on last. And, and then, you, we want, then we want a good rain, right? That's yes. important with the fertilizer? And it's supposed to rain in two days. That's why we're doing it today. Right. As you can see, we've got eight different types of seeds in it. And one bag of plant and a half acre. <laughs> As you guys can see, Daryl's driving. That spreader is doing it, spreading all those seeds all in this entire thing. What is this? Is more of the same stuff? It's fertilizer. Oh, this is the actual fertilizer. Yeah, this triple 13. That's triple 13. That's 13% 13 nitrogen. I'll put 30% nitrogen on this later. Nitrogen adds green to the leaves. Right. The other two are for the, the roots. Okay. We don't care about the roots on these plants here. All we care about is the leaves. There's nothing more satisfying than watching a man in his element. And neighbor Daryl planting food plots is about as in his element as he can be. I really hope we get some rain. As you guys can see, it is dry. <laughs> we have never planted a food plot here. I have never hunted this part of the property for deer. I'm just excited. So excited. Daryl said he killed two big bucks in this area last year. I really want to see some name suggestions in the comment section to name this food plot. I know you guys are really good at this type of stuff. I am looking forward to reading some suggestions down there. The one that I'm really excited about is Big Money. And you guys will remember, that's the huge food plot and box stand that we have right down this road. Woo, man, it's dry. Uh -huh. it. Holy moly, we gotta have some rain. This is Big Money, folks, if you've forgotten. And it's, uh, how long is this, 250, 300 yards? It's a long freaking way, man. The back is right here, but you guys can't even see the stand. This, the deer stand is like, boop, way back there. This is a lot. Big old food plot right here. All righty, I'm ready. All right. All right. All right, go. <laughs> oh yeah, I can hear it swinging yeah, now. Oh wow, it swings those seats really far from side to side. I didn't realize 
realize how far out it slings them. Both bags? Yeah, both bags. All right, let me get ready to run and jump. All right. Yeah, we good. Man, I hope we get a bunch of rain Sunday. I do too. So now that we've planted, Daryl, what's the purpose of dragging it with something yeah, like this? It puts dirt on top of the seat. What is this, just an old gate or something, old yeah, fence? old dog pen. Perfect. It's about to get dusty. It's about to get real dusty. <laughs> Gotta be honest, nothing feels, nothing makes you feel more like a man than planting a food plot with neighbor Daryl too. He's a crucial piece of the man puzzle. Hunting season is here, like bow season and everything. Just hunting season in general is here and it feels so dang good. All right, folks, it's been about, uh, how long has it been since we planted this, Daryl? I think, I feel like it's about a week and a half. Remember, we needed that big rain after we planted it, and luckily, we got it. And check out what it looks like now. I know you guys remember it was just a big patch of dirt. We were dragging it. Look at it now. Just as green as it could possibly be. Look at all this green. I mean, all these tiny little things growing up right here, and it's like that all throughout the field. I mean, the whole field is green. Now, me and Daryl are about to start scattering some corn around the edge of this one, just kind of baiting up a lot of the areas, because we're going to be deer hunting here real soon, boys. See that little blade right there? Yeah. I got hit by the tractor. At one time, that was a scraper. You can see how they scraped it there, scraped it there, like scraped it there. American scraper tool. Yeah. They can use it like a knife. They can take it. No, they're so sharp. Yeah. You just like no way. <laughs> That's so incredible finding stuff like this out here. The closer the edge get this corn, the more comfortable deer feels back from that meat. When did baiting become legal in Alabama? Wasn't that recently? A couple of years we can actually shoot them over the corn. I think it's been since I moved out here. Yeah, so. for a couple of years you could shoot them, but they couldn't be on your corn pile. Right. Put corn like that in the woods yeah. and hunt out here. Look at all that corn. Bet you it'll be gone here in a couple days. The temperature's pretty warm right now, uh, unfortunately. It's supposed to really drop like down into the 30s here soon. And when that happens, as Daryl has explained to me, that's what really gets the deer out there active, looking for a protein or a food source, you know? Oh, we gotta check this out. I just learned what scrapes and rubs were last year, and now I'm excited to see them. This is what we call a community scrape. I and mean, this thing's six foot long. I was about to say, it's a pretty big area <laughs> This right one here. be used by multiple bucks. Matter yeah. of fact, if you set a camera up over this, your bucks this time you run together. Yeah. Uh, there you probably see three, four, five, six bucks in a wad right <clears throat> So what is the purpose of scraping, Daryl? Like, why, why do the deer do that? There's two reasons. When the rut starts, when they're, when they're getting their girlfriends, they're peeing in it and attracting their girlfriends and they're marking the area. Okay. When they make a rub or scrape, it's, it's normally under a tree like this. Right. If you'll watch them, they'll take and rub their, on their horns, there's glands right there. Yeah. They rub their head on that and mark that spot. Normally it's yeah. under a tree, because he takes his head and he rubs all over it. So he's got sitting up here yeah. and he'll pee in Wow. Here. So it's just a straight up territory thing. It is. Yeah. This is a pretty fresh thing. I'm it, not sure this was there when we planted this. I'm pretty, no, pretty know, sure it was I know not. for a fact it wasn't. It wasn't yeah. here when I drove through here Friday, last Friday. Putting corn in the woods. So we're gonna have the food plot and legally baited corn. There's gonna be some big bucks coming through here. You gotta figure. Rest assured, we go around this curve. Yeah. If that's great, you're gonna see another straight here on the left. Yeah. Uh, that was made probably a couple weeks ago. I don't know how we missed it. <clears throat> now they'll make scrapes all down this road. If you stick a camera up on that big scrape back here, you'll see eight, 10, 12 different deer come to a doe. There are so many back here. It's and incredible. it ain't hogs. Yeah. I mean, that'd be a pure friggin' deer. Yeah, that look is a- Look at the track. Yeah, oh, it's, it's plain as day. I mean, you can see on the GoPro, just the, the trail right through there. <laughs> now folks, this little area of the property is called Scrape Alley. As you can kind of see, we've, we've gone back here before. This is one of those areas where there's some thin trees where you can really see a lot. So we, we identified this area as a big bow hunting area this year. We let Andrew come out here the other day. I was actually out of town. He's a big bow hunter hunter you know he's been looking to kill his first his first deer ever Daryl he'd never killed a deer with a bow and arrow before me and Daryl got him set up over here well you did especially now which tree was he in Daryl which tree was he that in? that one right there so he got into a saddle he climbed this tree 
He was, I don't know if he was like maybe he 20, 15, foot 15 20 foot up. So somewhere right in there. Yeah. So the deer come like this, got here, there he is. <laughs> Turned yeah. away from him to feed like this. Right. And he shot it, perfect shot on that hind, you know, that tell everybody. Quartering you away. Quartering yeah. to you, going, quartering away. Yeah. Catch that first rib, it come out right by his shoulder. I'm talking about picture perfect. And run, maybe. I mean, we shot, I shot a flashlight that you see it from here. Wow, so it's like just right over there? Yeah, maybe 30, 40 yards. Oh. We didn't film it because like I said, I was out of town, so I really, we really couldn't film it. But we'll show you guys some pictures right now on the screen. So big shout out to Andrew. That's his first archery deer ever. Nice. It's a four point, you know, yeah, buck. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, buck. I, I get it. Some people are gonna be like, dude, what did you shoot that deer for? But first of all, I don't really care. I only want to harvest like one trophy deer off this property myself, and maybe put a few other people on some if we can. You know, I just wanted him to shoot his first deer. He did it. So good job, buddy. Really cool story, and it's just a good example of how many deer are on this property at any given time. And when we come out here and film videos, we ride through with buggies, doesn't matter, those deer are still here. He saw other deer that, that evening too, but he just shot that one. Good job, buddy. We'll see you back here in a couple weeks. We are camoed up. Actually, you are a little bit more than me. A little bit more. <laughs> you're blind, so it'll be all right. Yeah, we're uh, we're hunting out of a what is it, a box stand box today? Stand, yeah. yeah. So the camo itself is not as important, although I am rocking the new uh, performance shirt, the Guggen shirt. That's like the best camo, one of the best camos I've ever seen. We are hunting today, folks, and we're hunting in a very special place, Andrew. We're hunting yep. big money today. If you guys have been around the channel at all, you kind of maybe have heard that name before, but they call this place big money. They call this stand and this food plot big money because over the years there have been so many big buck sightings. And we actually experienced one that was a little heartbreaking ourselves about a year ago today. And you missed him. You missed no. Him. So no. Back. no way. Damn it, you sure I seen the dirt fly? So needless to say, that's a that's a money spot, no pun intended. So rifle season just opened up a few days ago, hence the uh the orange hat. By the way, dude, you're about to be breaking yeah, the no, law. No, you no, better you're gonna have to drop me off at the location. <laughs> you know? If I get shot, it's if, on if me. you get shot, it's on you. Exactly. This is America. The rifle season is open. Now we've been trying to do the whole archery thing last couple times we've hunted to some varying degrees of success. Now I will say archery hunting is very fun, but sometimes it's not as effective, obviously. So this will be the first rifle deer off of the new property since I bought it, if we can manage to get a shot off today. Very excited. I want a big buck, but at the end of the day, we need some meat in the freezer and that's why we're doing this. I hope you guys remember the rifle last year that I bought from the guy I bought the property from actually, but it's a little 30-06. Love this thing. It's a Browning Bar 3. And this thing is freaking sick. But before we go shooting at any deer, we better make Tang sure this thing's zeroed. I had fired this thing in a while. That's good. Damn, that thing kicks. <laughs> Holy moly. God, hey, that 30 out 6 does not play around. That's what it feels like to get the other in. You said you saw one look dead center? That looks like that's three in the black to me, dude. Well, let's go freaking find out, because if that's the case, that's a good sign. That means the confidence level is gonna be high. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Andrew was not lying. Now, I think this was my last shot right here, which I'm not proud of, but boom, that's two in the black at almost 80 yards. Haven't shot the gun in a year. I think that's pretty dang good. That's a dead deer. All three shots, that's a dead deer. That's exciting. Yeah. Look, I don't want to brag or anything, but that's a dead deer. Yeah. Okay? Especially after the third shot. Two in the black, I think that was my last shot because I was just kind of ready to take it because after you said I hit black one time, through my scope, I could see the second shot was in the black. And then that one, I think I just got, I was rushed. I just wanted to shoot it because that yeah. 30-06 was just punching me in the shoulder. Here be. you go, Daryl. I, ah. I cannot blame the gun tonight. If I yeah, miss yeah, a can. trophy buck, yeah. I got nobody to blame but yeah. myself right there. Who drew your target, your daughter? <laughs> no, I didn't. But she drew those oh. smiley faces. Oh, okay. My daughter was drawing on this beforehand, <laughs> and I converted it into a target. Man, <laughs> good eye, Daryl. It's like deja vu when we sat here and we saw Lucky, that big 11 point, 
and I missed it. But man, this feels like that kind of a day. Remember, front shoulder, don't aim for the middle of them. Aim for the front shoulder. Yeah, okay, yeah. What's the biggest deer that's ever been killed out of here, Daryl? How did this stand in particular? We saw it last year with, yeah, with Lucky. Yeah, I know. Oh, there's a deer coming out. Wait, yep, 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 there is. God, man, you just, you're not paying attention. All of a sudden, you look up, and they just appear out of nowhere. Like you look at three of them out there, like, where the hell they come from? It's, it's like magic. It is. There's definitely more coming out. No, yeah, she's looking to the left a lot. She's yeah. looking back the way she came. Big-ass world up very back. I know. That's a little bug. Them little bugs are uh, coming out by themselves like that. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. I think it's a, you know, about a four-month-old bug. She just walked up that road pretty and he did. Well, we have almost one hour left of shootable light. Not quite, like 15 minutes left of shootable light. That's a good sign that we're seeing deer move already. Just a little bit too small. She fall? It was like she 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 definitely reacted like that. Uh, I can tell. I was kind of looking at it like she fell and got up, but she rolled pretty hard. It def she definitely reacted.
I definitely kept my head down, that's for sure. I'll be honest, I didn't, I mean, I, I couldn't tell. It, I mean, that's what you're supposed to see, right, is nothing. If you keep your head down. Yeah, well, I saw it, I didn't see shit. To me, it looked like, you know how it looked like, they'll curl up on it. That's what I'm thinking. That's what she looked like. Watch she did. It, let's watch the replay on that real quick. Let's see what she did. She acted like she almost fell. Dude, this freaking camera died right before I, I was pulling I the shot because it flashed white. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? You run that in slow? Oh, yeah. Like she track. dropped down on her yeah, shoulder. It, it looked like she looked like she came down on her front. Look, she that shoulder like it was a low leg. She yeah. didn't. She didn't drop down on her shoulder. Yeah, so watch out how that shoulder falls up under. Did yeah. it? That mean I hit her in the shoulder? It means like you hit her low leg. Freak. But did it, didn't her head fall on the Oh, yeah, definitely fell. I think like she spun on herself. Unless she just lowered her head to spin around. We got flashlights. We yeah. know about where she's on yeah. the left side, and she was probably 20, 30 yards up from that farthest point. Yeah, yeah. I think we got a bitch. What? She, yeah, she, she stayed down that's there. That's what I'm saying. There ain't no corn down there. She wouldn't come out. No, there's no corn on that side. All the corn, I put it on this side <laughs> so they would stay away from that. So she was just hiding behind tree branches the whole time. If I miss that, I feel I'm completely fine with it because that was a hard ass. Oh, that's a 250 yard shot. And she was just, she just would not get away. Right. Let me get my head. There ain't a whole lot of people could have made that shot. Uh, like I said, I wouldn't even feel sad if I missed that because that was kind of a tough, high difficulty shot. Be positive, Andrew. We got this. Got it, dude. We, I think it hit. It had to have hit. That bullet ain't like an arrow. I mean, it does serious damage. Yeah. No, you're well, right. I mean, you got to worry about if you hit a leg and didn't really get into anything important, but you got like low in that shoulder or something. That's what I'm hoping. I hit her in the shoulder. Yeah, low and not, low in the shoulder. We'll see. Now, where are we looking at? Andy? Well, we're definitely way past here, past this terrace. Way past this terrace. Are we past this terrace? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, or maybe, maybe on it, either. right? Like, I think we're gonna be right in here. Cut right here, yeah. Really? That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Well, I know we were way up from where the grass stops. Well, y'all got a better look than I did, I think, because I was looking down that scope. Because the tree, she was there. They were way past the the tree. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. You guys are crazy. They were way they were way down here because they were past the tree. They were past that tree. I was about to say, man, y'all y'all are making me question myself. Man, I was about to say. Yeah, that's why I was walking. Yeah. Whew. Okay, I was about to say I didn't see any blood. I was getting pretty scared. They were like way back yeah, here. Yeah. Cause that's 220. They were like back back here. They were behind these tree branches yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. We got new life. That looks like a fresh track right there. Oh no. It's hard to know how far down they were. You know. Don't really see where she kicked up dirt. I mean, these tracks right here looked super fresh. This looks like some dirt getting kicked up right here. Maybe like a deer hauling ass. All right, we called in the big guns here. We got the biggest gun. <laughs> Maga. Maga had, don't lie. He's tracked a couple deers before. Uh, deer. Uh, successfully. <whistles> Maga! That's the way. That's where we thought it went. I want to see if Maga's going to take me right to where I think it was. Hold on, Maga. Hold up, Maga. Oh God, he's going so fast. <laughs> he's just running around stepping. So check it out. We had a track marked right here. I marked it with that stick and he's kind of going that way. Maga, hold on. There you are. He stopped there waiting for us again. Huh. No, he's, he looks like he's searching for it. Like he, like he can't find it. Oh. Yeah. Look, I'm not even upset about missing that, like I said. We were just talking about, we looked at the, the, the ballistic on 30 out six and it drops like 7.7 .7 inches at 250 yards i did not know that uh, daryl didn't know that we were all thinking it was like two to three or four inches so kind of messed up the math on that one because i knew it was a far shot so i probably should have compensated with some higher shooting for sure you got maga back over there oh he already gave up <laughs> oh yeah he's like no nah, there ain't nothing out here that's bad when the scent dog just runs right back to the buggy he's like yeah let's try again next time buddy all right well it's okay, you know what? Like Daryl, everybody's trying to console me. <laughs> I, uh, I'm gonna take it as a learning opportunity, you know. Definitely know my math better next time, which I'm just completely shocked about that. But know my math better, know how far I'm shooting before I pull the trigger, and make dang sure I'm compensating. That doesn't mean I'm gonna hit it, but at least it'll help me. The wind tomorrow evening is gonna be right again for big money, and we're hoping we didn't just screw the pooch too bad. 
by messing around in here tonight. But luckily we didn't see a lot of deer tonight. So hopefully tomorrow is kind of that day where they really come out. So the hunt for the big buck or just the first rifle deer of the year, the hunt continues. Back at Big Money, day number two, sit number two. We're getting set up right now. Whew, I can feel it. Oh, man. Oh, damn. You did. I just did part of the pile. You made sure we put it on for a but what are you doing? Well, I had it on. Rookie. I had it on display. I, my uh, finger hit it. Excuses, oh, man. Oh, man. That was almost Whoa, oh, Jesus. the acorn. <laughs> Karma. That's what I get for talking crap. Oh my god. My finger <laughs> we just made so much noise, it's awesome. <laughs> so I actually went and checked the trail cam that I have on this stand last night. So about an hour or two after we left, after we had, had abandoned trying to find that deer, because I had obviously missed it, there were deer all over this food plot eating, just moving around freely, just like an hour or two later. We feel like that's a great sign that deer are gonna come back through here this evening, so. There's really no way of knowing. I, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if we see that year in the year first, though. <laughs> Do something. That's probably something. Right. Deer. I thought I was waiting to move. That's that year. Yeah. Man, you called that, Daryl. You said that he Probably be the first one we saw. And they come out right where they watched my last night. You got to be kidding me. Daryl, you, you know your shit, man. Yeah, I don't see Lama. No, you're right. That's the same one. He's gonna work his way to that corn again, you want? Yeah. He's the first one in the buffet line every night. You're a young deer trying to grow. You better be. Yeah. And Rusty, there's a good chance you'll you get run off by other deer. Yeah. yeah. I anything other than a fawn. Yeah. <laughs> Just under 30 minutes. It's dark. Got about 20 more minutes of light left. Confident, well, pretty confident. We're gonna see another deer. Yeah, My mind's starting to play tricks on me. Those shadows start coming out of nowhere. You'll sit on a big, like a big field, and about this time you'll start, you'll start putting things at that deer, and you'll look at him like a clump of brush. <laughs> it's over. No eyeballs. No eyeballs. Like we could have run them off, too. Yeah, definitely could have run them yeah, off. Since we were unsuccessful in our hunt, we're checking the other uh, food plot area. See if there's anybody home. Man, this food plot looks good, too, Daryl. You, you did a heck of a job on these two food yeah, plots. Look real good. God, it looks incredible. So green. Yeah. See, they eat all this corn. Remember, there was corn all in here. This is full of corn right here. Yeah, it was. Alright folks, we're going hunting again. This is the third sit, right? I think it's the third time we sat with a rifle. And today we're going to change the scenery a little bit. We're going to sit somewhere that I have not yet sat on since I've owned this property. But I feel like is the best hunting spot overall. That big money's great and we see deer every time. There's a lot of big bucks there, but at this point in the game, I'm just looking for a deer. I'm looking for meat in the freezer, even if it's a doe. And there's plenty of big bucks out this way as well. This stand is called the Shrine, and I have a very great history with them. I sat there two times before I owned this property. The owner let me sit there, and both times I shot and killed my only two deer ever. So obviously I have a little bit of confidence here. I don't know, I haven't been there since. It's been almost a year, I have no idea.
tell me you guys heard that. I just pulled up to where I parked. It's about a hundred yard walk to the stand. I just heard a gunshot, a single, sound like a rifle. Dang, that's either a really good sign or a bad sign. I feel like it could be a good sign because the deer might be moving early today. You know, you never know. You ever feel like you have way too much stuff in your hunting bag? Oh God, it weighs like 18 pounds. What do I even have in here? acorns drop when you're not expecting them. It's like a gunshot every time. <gasps> that was a high-powered rifle shot for sure. I have heard more gunshots this afternoon than I've heard the entire hunting season so far. The turkey just kind of started moving out. I'm really hopeful maybe he hears something
Yes. Yes! Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, dear, for coming back. Yes! Oh, yes! First deer off the new property, baby. Oh, my gosh, there she has dropped her in her tracks. Oh, my gosh, I'm shaking. <laughs> that was so crazy oh my gosh she i mean she hasn't even moved she twitched like a couple times oh my gosh oh nothing but white belly that's what i like to see oh my gosh <laughs> oh you guys probably can't see me at all but you can hear me and you saw that you saw I am gonna sit here just for a few minutes just to kind of let everything settle. And plus, you never know, a bobcat, coyote, something could run out and I'd love to pop one of those on the property as well. I'm gonna sit here for a few minutes and um, yeah, we'll go get her in just a minute. I thought I heard a shot down here. <laughs> <laughs> man, it was about the last five minutes of life, man. And the funny thing is, I had just I just pointed my camera down that lane just to adjust the lighting, you know? And I'll be <laughs> damned, a deer walked out as that Into the camera. Now, she disappeared into that wood line for a minute, and then I just kind of was patient, waited, 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 and she walked back out, and then I, I, about five seconds, man, I just dropped her. She did not take a step. Yeah. Hey, buddy, I heard you shoot. Oh, did you? Yeah, I was sitting there on the porch and heard you shoot, and, <laughs> and then I see we said dead or tracks, and well, damn, Meg, I've been... I've been talking to Megan for the last 20 minutes. Got him hyped up. I'm sorry, Megan. He was fired up. Hey, man. I'm going to let you jump on that deer and tear it up for a second. Because yeah, I know exactly. you like to do that. Exactly. All right, Maggie, you ready to jump on the deer, buddy? We'll let you do a little bit of tracking here. We can't just let Maggie not do any tracking all right. at all. You got to stay in tune. Go get him, Maggie. <laughs> this is a deer tracking dog right there. Good, Maggie. That's it, buddy. Oh, man, look at that shot, Daryl. It wasn't terrible. It was a little, 
It was a high shoulder. <coughs> well, which, any shoulder shots, man. Yeah, I know you told me before, high shoulder is kind of what you want. Yeah. Man, that dropper in her tracks, it man. Is a little buck. Oh, it is a little buck. You're I right. told you that little buck by you himself. You did say that. Yes, I how did. did you, so you said, okay, why, why did you think it was a buck? Because it was out here by itself. There wasn't a year limit. Ah, and, and because you said the old timer said that uh, if the, the white, white belly, belly falls towards you, yeah. it's a buck. What? Man, you that pulled old, it. That old timer was right. When you pulled up, you said, oh, you know, it might, it might be a buck because it <laughs> fell white belly towards you. I've had that old timer. That guy was like 90 years old. Really? And has shot a thousand deer in his life. Wow. He said, son, let me tell you something. If you see the white belly, it's a buck. They always well, fall white belly towards you. Well, there you go. I mean, I'm not even I'm not even mad about it. We needed some meat for the freezer. It looked like a dough <laughs> oh, to me. Yeah. Well, actually, that's a good one. That's a cold buck. Really? This what? buck is a year and a half old. Okay. He, he should have a four, a six, a minimum. Oh really? Yes. For so him this, to have that. So it's good to kill a buck yes. like this then. Them, him right there would have never been everything. Never been yeah. yeah. You don't want him breeding. Yeah, don't want those genetics in the pool. No, absolutely not. This is poor genetics. Well that's all he has right there in his year and a half old. Yeah. I've seen eight points. Really? This side. Yeah. So it's just all genes. It's all, all genetics. Genes. We're yeah, gonna he, eat he you. Definitely needed for me. <laughs> This is what Maga does when he tracks a deer. He just attacks it for a solid 10 minutes. Well, that shot, I mean, high shoulder, a well, little too you far in. Five yards and you did bump the scope up. I so did. Actually, it probably hit, you well, know, at that close, it probably hit like two inches high anyhow. Right. Which would have been right there. Yeah, so I wasn't far off no, at so, all. Hey, he dropped his track, you know, it was a good shot. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. So there you go, a coal buck. First, First deer I've shot off the property since I bought it. And then this is the first buck, obviously not a trophy, but a cold buck, so a good thing to get off the property. Maga, you're so loud. <laughs> you're louder than these coyotes out here. Let's load this dude up. <laughs> Maga's still jumping on it. Blood all over my face. <laughs> Woo! Right of passage, baby. Blood, oh yeah. Just bloodied up. <laughs> oh, that's what you're supposed to do, right? So Daryl's obviously cleaning it right now, folks. And uh, I don't know if we can show this on YouTube even right now, so I'm not even sure what I'm gonna use this for. This might go on Uncut Outdoors. But if you guys wanna see the, some deer processing, I think we can actually do that on YouTube. So if you guys wanna see uh, some uh, deer processing with Daryl, I thought about that earlier, Daryl. If you ever have a YouTube channel, that should be its name. Deer Processing with Daryl. <laughs> All right, folks, so it's been a few days since we made our first kill, first deer ever off the new, well, first deer since I've owned the property. And now we've got neighbor Daryl in the mix, a culinary genius, you might say, a man who knows his way around cooking venison. That's deer meat. So now as part of the catch clean cook element of this video, I'm gonna let neighbor Daryl kind of talk us through one of the specialties, which is making venison meatballs and then turning that into like a meatball Parmesan marinara sandwich, right? right. Okay. Right. Yeah. So I'm like really excited about this. Like a Subway meatballs. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which used to be my favorite Subway sandwich, by yeah, the way. Yeah. Remember you yeah. telling me that. Oh, dude. Love a meatball exactly. sub. And venison is just, it's better than red. It's better than beef. If you've ever had it prepared yeah. right, it's better. That's the best thing I can tell you. Most people that make meatball subs mix pork with it, even if you do beef. Okay. So I'm going to mix pork and it's mixed half and half. What's the point of mixing the pork in there? Just to try to keep it juicy? Or yeah, what? it makes it yeah, more moist. Otherwise, it better grow dry. Yeah, the, the deer is so lean. Yeah, there's know. no fat in the deer. You can uh, mix, grind it the first time, and then mix the seasoning in there, and then grind it the second time. A lot of times, I'll just mix it up. I'll stir this up, and then I'll just throw it all in at one time. 
So that's so you, what you're mixing right now. You're mixing the pork you just cut up. You're mixing fat, and then the red pieces. That's the actual deer. That's the actual deer meat. Yeah, yeah and nice. I cleaned it up yesterday. Nice. And I got it semi-frozen, so it, it grinds a lot better. I forgot to yeah, I forgot to say. So with the deer that we shot, you keep it on ice for how long? Two, About three days. days. And that's three. Re that's really the key, right? Right. Getting, getting that gaminess out it of gets it. Gets gaminess out, gets blood out of it. Okay. So what, what kind of season are you going with? There's typical like Italian. Yeah, this is just regular oil. Italian. I'll tell you, the easiest shortcut, just buy spaghetti seasoning. Spaghetti seasoning? Yeah, just get spaghetti seasoning. Okay, I like it. And some Italian breadcrumbs. That soaks up the fat. It's almost like making a meatloaf, mini meatloaf. But it's Italian. Yeah, I can get them all for them. God, it smells good. Holy moly. Yeah. Woo! If it tastes anything like it smells, it's going to be good. Makes it really good. And then this is some diced up onions, minced onions really, and some garlic. Oh man, that's what I've been waiting for. Yep. There's something about meat being grinded, it's so fascinating. I don't, and it I don't comes know. out real pretty looking. Oh, I want to see it. Feed it through there. Actually, we got to grind this twice. The first time we grind it with that thick plate, I think they call it a 3 8 inch. And the second grinding will be with a hamburger plate. And it'll look like hamburger meat. You can see it. It's mixing real well, though. I mean, the fat's mixing in with the meat. I mean, it's all it already almost looks like something you'd buy at the store. Now, do you have to be careful about sticking, like, your fingers down in that no, hole? It, or has it got a safety on it? It don't have a safety, but your fingers have to be longer than that. Okay. Ooh, man, that's scary, man. Oh, I keep scary. seeing you push it down your finger. I'm like, well, no, I got no. this foot pedal too. You can turn it on and off. Oh, okay. this foot pedal safer. No, that's happens. smart. Yeah, that if something smart. happens, you're yeah. definitely gonna move that foot. Yeah, I've seen old timers now, especially women, because women used to do a lot of grinding back in the '50s and '60s with a mangled up finger from getting caught in one of these old time grinders. Mm. God. And by mixing this seasoning up and using the same pan. There's a lot of seasoning here I didn't pick up. Sure. So it'll pick it up this time. Yeah. So you said after we grind all this, you'll put it back for grind it again. And that'll like actually help mix it up a little bit better? That's correct. It'll yeah. come out looking just like hamburger meat. What's the eggs do? Just kind of help it. It's a binder? Uh, yeah, binder, exactly. Yeah. My personal favorite part about processing deer like this is the meat goes from being organic in the woods, completely wild, free range animal, right? No restrictions on life. As soon as that animal dies, the only person that touches it at that point is me and Daryl. That's it. I mean, it doesn't have to go off somewhere. It's not getting mixed with other animals like the, the meat you buy from the store a lot of time is mixed with different animals. You don't know how sick one of those animals were. But this, chemicals we know, yeah, there. chemicals, additives, preservatives, blah, blah, blah. But we, there's only two people have touched this thing. And that's what I love about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that looks like meat out of the store right there. Hold on, yeah, I gotta get a better shot of this. I mean, that's literally grocery store meat right there, except, like we said, it's only been touched by one person, and we know exactly what's in it. That, that's how it looked the first go round, which still looked good, but now it just, yeah. wow, this looks like the real deal. And some people like that chunkiness. Yeah. Every now and then I'll do a sausage and leave it chunky. That's the hardest part. Just, just keep pushing down that hole. All right. Put your foot on the pedal. Where is the hole? You'll find it. <laughs> You'll find it. Yeah, just like my dad. <laughs> scared to push it down in that hole. <laughs> Even though I know it, you got to push way down in there. Yeah, you got to push it all the way down. Dude, I like this, man. You kill the deer, you process it. I'm just enjoying the process. I oh, man. Dude, you did there. Yeah, you like that. Put one on the bottom. So what's the temperature and time on those, Daryl? 375, and I guess it probably 15 minutes, maybe. Take them all. Okay. Uh, one set. It don't take them all once they start getting hot. Yeah. I like to take a little bit of bread out in the middle. 
that just give the meatball somewhere to sit? Yeah, a little pocket for your meatball. That's and you got more meatball than bread, too. Set these sandwiches up. Italian cheese. You like a sub? Yeah. Here, God, this is about to be something. Like toasted. Oh, yes, 100%. The answer to that question is always yes. Yep. Yeah. Especially that kind of sandwich. Is it toasted? Yes, it's toasted. Yeah. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That's a little hot. Yeah, royally, it's hot. Andrew, you got your eye on one in particular? No, nah, dude. Oh, you just yeah. like that. It's your deer, dude. Yes. Dude. Red pepper flakes. Yeah, that's a good point. My dear. Right or your right? Just, just I see him. Up. Okay. I, I think I'm going to take that bad boy I mean, right he's there. He's just sitting there waiting on you. He's just sitting there kind of asking for it. First, I'm going to dress it up with some red pepper flakes because I am a fancy spicy, boy. I'm a fancy spicy <laughs> boy. <laughs> dude, look at that, man. Look at the meatballs, the cheese. And we, we were just talking about this off camera. This is, we're about one hour in right now. One hour from the moment we started grinding to now we're about to eat. I mean, you can't beat that. It's gonna be hot as shit. <laughs> oh. The bread's toasted, so you got that texture. The meatball's phenomenal. Incredible. The sauce, the peppers, the red pepper flakes. Oh my god. Damn. Last week that deer was eating corn. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. How not easy but simple this deer processing can be. Oh man, we gotta get in there, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright. Yeah, I wanna see this first bite, man. <clears throat> I want you to experience Let's try it. what I've been experiencing. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Your smile says it all. Yeah, you're gonna come live with me, Darren. <laughs> I'll kick Ashton out. It is just so good, man. Everything about mm. that sandwich, the fact that you hey. bake it at the end, that's kind of, to me, that's what really yeah, sends yeah, it that's home. that's really good, Darren. Yeah. Well, get it all you can right now, because I'm about to Yeah, I know, all these extra sandwiches are gonna be gone. It's, it's incredible. It's incredible. I mean, how much would you pay for that sandwich on a, on a random Wednesday afternoon? I'd pay 10 bucks for yeah, that. Easy. easy. Easy 10 bucks. Easy. I mean, forget Mickey D's, man. Give me one of those. All right, let's dump these deer entrails over here. This is going to be our little coyote baiting area right here. Just going to kind of dump carcasses and... Oh man, that's lovely. Yeah, that's gross. <laughs> this is the very corner of the dove field tree stand that we just set up. And uh, so we'll be able to have potentially shots at coyotes right here eventually at some point in time. Man, that was an incredible meal prepared by neighbor Daryl. And I'm glad we got to show you guys how simple it is to kind of process a deer for that purpose. And one of the many reasons why I've just been enjoying so much hunting the last year or two is because of that, being able to harvest that meat, do it ourselves. And then eating food from Mayor Daryl is just a win-win any day of the week. I mean, is that not the best meatball oh, sub you ever had? The best. I mean, Subway can go to hell, man. By the way, did you hear that? Yeah, I was like, we're about to get snuck up on. Is there a coyote on top of us right now? I wish I'm still hearing it while we're talking about it. Oh my God, there's a giant rattlesnake right there, bro. You swear to God? Yeah, I oh swear to God. Oh my God. Look at that giant son of a... Biscuit! Oh, oh my god! Crap. We don't have a gun, so there's not even a point of trying to kill it. Dear God, look at that thing, bro! Dude, let me see that thing. Let's oh see, my. Let me get this face. Get this face. You do that, big dog. <laughs> oh, he's about to go in that hole. There's this hole. He's out here sunning. Look at him. He's coiling up. Yeah, if you get him, you get him. Dude. Oh, 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 Oh my god. Did you hear that freaking Listen to that That's snake. A man of a snake. snake right there, dude. Oh my. Look at how he's like 
backing. You know what I mean? Like how he's like. He's so menacing looking. Look at him. That was crazy. That was crazy. We kept hearing the, the noise. We're I thought like, we were getting snuck up on, dude. I mean, I was halfway kidding because, you know, you always hear noises in the woods, but, oh, We were talking God. about it and we kept hearing it. I'm like, wait a minute. Holy crap, dude. Oh, my God. We were just talking about rattlesnakes at Neighbor Daryl's house. Like, jeez, man. Oh, my gosh. You just don't think about it because it's so it was so cold last night, but now it's warm, so they're trying to come out and get that last little bit of warmth. Jesus, man. Let's remember that that hole is right here. <laughs> yeah, no so, kidding. anyways, constant reminder that these woods are dangerous out here. So, dear Lord. Had a great time, guys. First successful hunt in the new property, but it's not going to be the last successful hunt. We're going to do archery, a bow, crossbow, more rifle. Big bucks are coming soon. We got them on cameras everywhere. Once we get another hard freeze to kill some of this greenery, these food plots are going to be jumping. It's going to be a good season, folks. Make sure you're smashing that thumbs up button for this catch, clean, cook, and deer hunting. Let me know if you guys enjoy this kind of stuff. We're certainly enjoying making this content. See you guys next time.